and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. We have now reached August, which is usually the final quiet month of the year when it comes to video game releases. But this time around, there are a bunch of titles out there to grab your attention and your hard-earned cash. But I've also found two free games to download this month, one right away. So if you're ready, let's do this. 10 new games dropping in August 2020. Hit the music. Probably the biggest game of the month is actually a moderately priced indie game with grand plans to take over the world. This is Fall Guys. By the way, if you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, you'll get this one for free on the day it's released, August 4th. Fall Guys is also dropping on PC, but it won't be free over there. I talked about Fall Guys a great deal in my previous video, so I'll be super quick here. This one sees 60 players, battle royale style, whittled down to one person standing, using up to five mini games. On release, there will be 25 of those mini games included, but more will be added over time. The game will use a store to bring in cash, allowing players to buy skins for their Fall Guy and unlock emotes and color schemes using like a battle pass option, which I think is safe to say is the norm in gaming these days, but there will not be any pay to win models here. If you're struggling to see the appeal, I'll link a full game to help you set the scene. Fall Guys is available on PS4 and PC when it releases on August 4th. Do you watch the Fast and Furious movies? Well, you may not know, but a fast game is dropping this month also. Fast and Furious Crossroads, an arcade racer with gadgets and tech like a James Bond film. It's got a story starring the characters from the films, featuring both their likenesses and most of the voices too. The game puts Dom and the crew into many outrageous scenarios. A cool thing we can do is switch between drivers to get the perfect vehicle in the perfect location. Each vehicle has awesome tech to use, from nano shields to shockwaves to EMPs and even a harpoon. The tech is the real star of this game. So if you've ever wanted to roleplay as Vin Diesel, now is your chance. Fast and Furious Crossroads drops on PS4, Xbox and PC on August 7th. Speaking of driving games, have you heard the news about Rocket League? The competitive juggernaut is going free to play. Out of interest, do you already own it? The high octane football match, or soccer if you prefer, has been ahead of the game for almost five years now, and since the introduction of battle passes into other free to play games, the devs have looked at that option and believe now is the time to make the switch. Rocket League's skill gap is a little off putting to new players, as going up against someone who knows how to do all the mid air ballet rocket boosting can suck the life out of this game, but we've been assured the focus of casual fun is returning with simplified menus and refined customization of vehicles. So here's the question, when can we expect it to go free? Well we've been told this summer. Well we're already in summer so it could drop right now, we just don't know. Summer though officially ends on September 22nd. So it's highly likely over August we'll get to see this game go free. But if it's not, remember it's only a few more weeks into September. You can hold on that long, right? How about a free game right now? Well, if you're on PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC via Steam, you can play Fantasy Strike right now. A Street Fighter inspired fighting game with the usual ethos of easy to play, difficult to master thought process. A lot of time and effort has gone into the netcode for Fantasy Strike, which is of the utmost importance for online fighters. The most recent update this week gives us access to all fighters, including two brand new characters named Sirius Quince and General Onimaru. That's a good name, I like it. There is a subscription model in place to get you to spend your money, but you don't need to because the free version has online casual, ranked practice and versus AI modes unlocked right away. And there's tons of cosmetic items too. Fantasy Strike is free to download and play right now on PS4, Switch and PC. A huge game this month is UFC 4, one of the most visually stunning games I've seen for a while, and with a new Shockwave physics update, it lets you see the impact of your strikes. Look at it! This is so brutal. UFC 4 is a simulation game which takes a great deal of time to master, to develop into an accomplished fighter. Intricate decision making becomes the focal point if the previous games are anything to go by, but just look at it! It's beautiful! The likenesses, the sweat dripping down. Ugh, well, wow. The clinch system has been updated this time around as has the takedown system and the submission system so this should feel more like a new game than any other sports titles do you know because they're released every year and it's just the same game but we still buy them i'm not judging 
Also, if you want to see Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury fighting the Octagon, it's possible with a pre-order bonus. And I gotta admit it, I'm tempted to get that. UFC 4 releases on August 14th on PS4 and Xbox One. Have you ever played a Wasteland game? I have to admit, I haven't, but Wasteland 3 looks mighty impressive. Imagine XCOM mixed with Fallout, and you get Wasteland 3. Set in post-apocalyptic Colorado, we take control of the last surviving member of November team, a ranger squad. The game is a turn-based strategy title in which we have time to plan our moves just like a chessboard, but a single wrong move can see a teammate annihilated. XCOM, Gears Tactics and now Wasteland 3, these types of games are a great way to learn about the lore behind the game. So if you ever wanted to know what happens if the Fallout universe went in a totally different direction, this is the game for you. August 28th if you're interested, on PS4, Xbox and PC. On August 27th, Surgeon Simulator is returning, but this time it's a little different. If you know the original, you'll know we are amateur surgeons tasked with saving a patient with a variety of ailments. That is still the premise, but now we have full control over our characters and must solve puzzles in order to get the body parts we need to save that patient. Levels are sprawling and exploration is key, which makes this a huge change from the original. Moving a cabinet to find a hidden path is actually a regular thing to do. All the while, we only control one hand and arm, which is deliberately hard to function. The addition of the create mode is a real winning element here as the community will continue to create new content. There is exclusivity attached to this, as this game will start out only on the Epic Store on PC, which means us on PS4 and Xbox, we gotta wait a little longer. Exclusivity sucks, but it's here to stay. Here's a game with tons of potential. This is Windbound a Zelda-inspired survival game in which we manage our hunger and slowly increase our skills to take on the world's beasts. First of all, it's another beautiful looking game, but in terms of game mechanics, it's the usual break things to scavenge for materials in order to slowly upgrade items to progress further. The world is filled with fantasy elements and secrets to discover, and once each area is ransacked, we jump aboard our boat and find another island. But here's the best bit. The world is procedurally generated, meaning nothing is the same. The game semi-randomly throws down tiles of landmass, making each playthrough completely different. You'll be given a unique world to explore, similar but not the same as other players. So does that float your boat? No pun intended. What do you think of Windbound? Tempted to try it? Windbound releases on PS4, PC, Xbox One, Switch, and even the Stadia on August 28th. When you think of the greatest driving sims ever made, you're likely to go one of two ways, either Gran Turismo or Forza. It's difficult for another brand to make headway. Well, Project Cars is trying once again to break the glass ceiling with Project Cars 3. Good title. The key feature of this game is racing in over 200 cars, which you buy using XP from racing. These cars can be customized both to look the way you want them to, but also to be more performance ready for each terrain or track you face. With all four seasons of the year dynamically created and the usual 24 hour day night cycle, this racing experience is evolving. With new daily challenges and community events too, could Project Cars 3 break out of the shadow of Forza and Gran Turismo? Find out on August 28th on PS4, PC and Xbox One. And finally, have a look at Scully, a platformer in which we can morph into beings. The core of this game is rolling your head from place to place, collecting items and exploring areas. The best part are those morphs, in which Scully becomes like a Goron-like creature. Each one gives Scully different skills and breaks up the core rolling and jumping gameplay. Scully may not be made for the majority of gamers out there, but I do hope it finds someone. Scully releases on August 4th on PS4, PC, Xbox and Switch. So there we have it, 10 new games of August 2020, and potentially three of them are free to play. I'd love to know your thoughts, but I know nobody ever makes it this far. If you did, please write Nintendo DS Gang in the comments and I'll try and find you. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade, thank you for your time, I'll see you next time.